show you how to create folders for your course in Blackboard. So if you already have a set of links on the left, which is your menu for your course that you are good with, then you can use those. If not, in order to put a folder into an area, you want to have that area already established. So if you just requested a shell from Faculty Technology, oftentimes it comes with some pretty stock menu items. Uh, for example, discussions, group work, content, and such. If you want to use those, then by all means do so. If you would like to do something a little different uh, and maybe add something like I've done here where I have instructor information, syllabus and schedule and such, you can do that. So I'm going to do that first so that you can see how to add the content area you want and then how to put that folder in. So let's say none of these are going to work for what I want. Let's say that my goal is to create the folder or the area in which I'm going to house my weekly or unit based content. So let's say I decided previously to use an organizational pattern that is set up by units and I want the units to be by chapter or by section within my textbook or within my course material. Up here on the left I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to choose what I would like. For most of you, if you are going to create a place to house your content, you're just going to have a content area. There are other ways that you can use these links over here on the left, but for now we're just going to look at the content area. So you click on content area and you give it a name that your students will be able to understand. So I might just put course content. You could also say weekly material, you could say unit material, whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to put course content. I'll click available to users so that the students, when the course goes live, can get in there and then submit. And that will show up here and you can move it anywhere you want by grabbing it on these arrows here and moving it up and down. But for right now, we're just looking at how to include a folder in that content area. So if you look at that folder or that, excuse me, that link, that main menu item, you're going to click on it and you'll see kind of a blank area available to you. Once you're ready to add the folders, which will house what you're going to do for each of your um, weeks or each of your units and so on, you just go up to build content and if you hover over that, you'll be able to see all these different areas in which you can add things to your content area and underneath new page you'll click content folder. So once you've clicked content folder then you can name it whatever you want. Let's say it's week one or unit one and you're going to talk about introductions or you're going to talk about the fundamentals of your course concept or whatever it might be. So you put that there and if you want to add a description you can put the description here and then anything else you may want to change. If you want to adjust when that folder is visible, you can. Personally, I keep my folders visible at all times, but you can have them open at a certain time and close at a certain time. It's completely your call. And then I'm just going to click Submit. And once I've clicked Submit, now all of that is here. And anything I want to add to Unit 1, I just click on that folder and I go through that process all over again. I can include other forms of content like websites or videos. I can include tests or assignments or any other tools like discussion boards or journals or group rooms. So hopefully that gives you a good overview. Just as an example, this course that I teach, which you have a full, uh, full observation of later on in the course that you're doing, gives you a weekly material. So I created the weekly material. I have every course week set up with the dates for that course. And once the student goes into this, the week that they're on, then they've got all the material available to them here. So that's sort of how I've done it. However, you can choose to do it in whatever way you feel comfortable. Now you know sort of how to navigate creating a folder in Blackboard. Best of luck.